Hey everyone, it's Will Gamer Dad with another video for you. So in today's video, we're going to review Surge from the Chrono Cross collab, and I'll do a little bit of gameplay and let you know what I think about him. But the most important question of all is, is he hot or not? I do like a man with a big sword. Alrighty then. Surge is our first dual zone setter, that is magic slash zone, double strike zone actually to be exact. So let's go over for his VC first, deploy double strike stash which is magic and slash and physical resistance of all enemies down by 45% for two turns with his true VC Grasta that you get from grinding out those points. So um, just to uh, reiterate, that means you can use both magic and slash users on the same team. And being that he's in uh, the part of the Chrono Cross collab, he can stack power levels to a maximum of 10, which will help enhance his moves. The moves we're going with is Light of Meditation, which is uh, a defensive one of some sort. He can heal and it stacks three power levels. And at max power level, which is 10 levels, you can get 25% increased max HP and 2500 restore. Just keep in mind that to get the full benefit, you essentially have to do the move three or four turns. Now, one of his other moves is Shining, Preemptive Slash Attack, Large, Inflict Pain, and again, depending on the number of power levels, you'll eventually get it um, 3 uh, to Persistent, which is Permanent Pain, as well as uh, Extra Damage, again, at max 10 stacks. Now, finally, his two major moves for DPS is the Dash Cut Heavens. This is a Slash AoE, Crit Damage of all party members, plus 30%, again, Increased Strength, based on light points. So very similar to Aldo in that sense. However, it doesn't nearly scale as dramatically. So uh, even at 16 light, he'll be pretty decent to start off with. And again, it does stack power levels depending on how you use it. Um, once he's level 80, I find he stacks three power levels when he does this move once. And finally, Sky Arrow is the single uh, target XL, increased strength, again, depending on light points, increased damage if pain, increased uh, additional attack uh, based on max power level. So at 10, you get three additional half strength attacks. So essentially, you're going to get two and a half times your damage. And keep in mind that both his moves do change element depending on what elements you equip. And so those are very unique to the Chrono Cross units. All three of them, uh, Harley, uh, Kid, and Surge can equip uh, different elements elements and that would modify and customize their move set. So uh, you can see that you can equip up to four elements. Uh, I'm not going to go down the whole list. Um, they all do kind of different things and you can really customize your team as best as you can. Um, in my case, we're just going to do with the basic uh, DPS types and we're demonstrating the uh, earth type at this point. However, again, um, we can use any elements which I'll show you later on in this video. So here's his five star board. And of course, you can go all the way up. Uh, he doesn't have any other forms, of course, just himself. And otherwise, just the sword personality in order to share Grasta with. Pretty standard setup. Three panes with enhanced Grasta uh, ores uh, from the uh, newest Underworld dungeon. So, let's take him out for a spin. If you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I also do have a Patreon account for those who want to support me this way. So in our first example, we have the fire element equipped in the first slot. And so generally you can do the slash cut heavens as AOE. It stacks three power levels at level 80. And so um, you can easily clear mobs with it. Although again, at 55 MP, you're probably going to burn up pretty, pretty quickly. Now, if you want to fight tougher things solo, you can actually use the light of meditation to heal himself, stack three power levels. And you can see that instead of a thousand the first time, as you get more stacks, it now becomes 1450. Keep in mind, it also increases his max HP by a little amount as well. And then he has nine stacks here. So now we have full 10 stacks, as you can see there, kind of like 10 orbs, like the AS birds. And you can just use a sky arrow, which will do one attack and three additional half strength attacks, uh, because we do have, um, you know, uh, four um, full attacks based on 10 stacks. 
So first of all, you can get quite a bit of hits here. And one thing I didn't mention about Sky Arrow is if you do use it during AF, it does increase AF combo meter by 1.6 times, which essentially multi hits plus extra combo percent, which can lead to a larger AF. That being said, Sky Arrow does not, I repeat, does not stack orbs that I can see in my experimentation. And so um, you would really use the Dash Cut Heavens first and then use Sky Arrow a little bit later on in the AF if you choose to. Now, one of his main strengths and unique abilities is that he can establish this dual strike stance, which allows your magic and slash units to combine together in one zone. Um, damage of both those units are increased by 30% still, and it decreases slash, I mean, sorry, decreases blunt and pierce by 30%. So you can really combine different units on your team, especially if you're lacking other zone setters, um, you know, on your team. So in our first example, we're going to use him as a mainline DPS. Keep in mind that in order to fight um, a wind type unit, you really need someone who can deal fire damage. We obviously have ASMU, Aldo at max light. We have Cress as our free slash zone setter. And of course, we now have a uh, fire Grasta equipped on uh, Surge in order to kind of deal damage fire type wise. Cress, of course, has uh, fire based attacks as well and so on and so forth. So we're just going to do a turn to AF and obviously we do have some pain grass to set pain. Now one thing I'll say about him as a DPS, I mean obviously a 16 light he only has the uh, three grass to slots and uh, doesn't have the ability to put extra two badges and so on and so forth compared to Aldo. And so in this case you can still see him dealing decent numbers but certainly not nearly as much damage as uh, someone like Aldo doing like 50 million, he's doing about 20 million and that is in part due to the da lack of extra slots for Grasta and Power Badges. But as a sole DPS unit, not bad at all. You can actually increase uh, damage, uh, obviously if you do extra stacking either through Slash Zone, Fire Zone, or whatever element you want to use. Because remember, being that you can use any elements uh, to equip in his elements thing, being that he's a collab unit, he can really um, be versatile in that sense, and Slash is the most prevalent kind of unit anyway, so you have a multitude of Slash zone setters, obviously Crest being the free one, or you can use Elemental zones to kind of help, like in the case of if you want to VC in or use Fire Zone Grasta, you can help with that as well. Anyways, obviously these fights are uh, kind of interesting because it's RNG based and so it was a little bit difficult to demonstrate kind of his capabilities. Uh, obviously you can also put him in like one or two turn AF setups to really use him as DPS but he really doesn't need to do that. Alright so in this case even though um, Surge landed a fair bit of damage unfortunately he wasn't able to finish it off and so we had Cress as well as Aldo kind of cleaning up the mess at the end of the day. Alright so one of his main strengths, as I said, is that he's very, very versatile. He can fit in a lot of different elemental teams, especially if you're relatively new to the game where you don't have a lot of different units and you can kind of fit them in. So if you, for example, say you only had two wind zone wind units and you have a wind zone such as AS Vena or AS Claude, you can put him in by um, obviously just equipping a wind element in the first slot. And likewise with the other elements. The other thing too is that we don't have that many free uh, units that can do the three other elements which is shade, light or thunder as well as crystal and he does have elements that can equip to that so he can um, certainly perform in those eventually when they have those zones available or if the enemy is weak to uh, any of those elements being that crystal seems to be one that a lot of enemies are weak to. So I'm just showing obviously the grass to set up and holding uh, for that first example. Now, in this second example, I will be honest here, I actually had to experiment with this for a number of times because, of course, these artificial spirit bosses are a little bit RNG dependent. But not only that, uh, one of the downsides to Surge, as much as you can use uh, two different types of weapon types, so you can use Slash units as well as Magic units, and you can see I have AS Myers, AS Clark, we're using an Earth-based team against a Water-based unit. So, once you establish this dual strike stance, you do increase your damage on slash and magic users by 30% and decrease damage of uh, blunt and pierce. Now the problem is that, remember, it increases damage on both sides and since a lot of enemies do have mixed attacks with both magic and physical attacks, if you have this dual zone active, 
you're going to take a lot more damage. So it's um, very tricky against some of the tougher super bosses where if you do use him as a zone setter, you can be open to massive amounts of attack. So obviously, your best use of using him as a zone setter is against an enemy who uses only blunt or pierce attacks with no magical attacks at all, in which case you'll have to test it out and see which bosses are like that. Otherwise, you know, um, the fact that he's uh, able to do that is still pretty, pretty cool. One other thing I'll say about um, dual strike stance in general, and this is just my opinion, of course. You can uh, let me know in the comments below if you find him a lot more uh, powerful. The thing is, when you have a dedicated magic zone setting or dedicated slash zone setting, I find that the synergy between the units is a lot higher. I'll give you an example. For example, if you use all magic zone units, you can have um, mental focus, which is obviously increasing damage based on max MP, and your magic users, all of them are going to do a ton more damage. The other thing is that a lot of magic users will give each other int bonuses or staff bonuses or so on and so forth, and you do a ton of damage that way. When you share both magic and slash units, you're not really sharing weapon types other than the zone. And because of that, the synergy is a lot more difficult to kind of stack tons and tons of buffs on your team. Same thing with Slash Zone, right? With Slash Zone, you can put, for example, um, Slash Resist Debuff and Type Resist Debuff. Because it's a physical attack, you can put Crit Damage up and so on and so forth. Remember that unless it specifically says so, Crit Damage up doesn't apply to magical attacks from mages. It has to say Magic Crit Damage up. And so uh, a lot of times these bonuses don't nearly affect mages as much as physical teams. Speaking of which, when he VCs in, he gives physical resistance down 45%. That really doesn't benefit those mages nearly as much. Although again, if you're using a mixed team and you're forced to use a mixed team, um, you know, you still have the versatility that way. It's just that if you're talking purely DPS and pure synergy, I find that running a full slash team or running a full elemental team or running a full magic team might be a little more uh, beneficial. Now that being said, keep in mind, he is the, one of the main characters in the Chrono Cross collab, and obviously Kid and Harley, one is another slash user, and one is a magic staff user. And so obviously him having this dual strike stat allows you to use all three of them together on one team, which if you're a fan of the Chrono Cross collab and really want to revisit and reminisce over those times, you can now do that. Speaking of which, if you use, I believe, um, two out of three, so Surge and Kid with Aldo, or Surge and Harley with Aldo in a full AF, you'll get a unique finisher as well. Uh, I did not demonstrate it in this video, however, I will do so when I eventually um, you know, do five-star reviews of Kid and Harley over the next few days or week. Anyways, uh, here's the Grasta setup uh, and Grasta holding, obviously, in this case. Again, being that this is the Earth-based uh, attack, we had someone holding Earth based sword Grasta. So in conclusion, I do think Surge is very interesting. He certainly can combine a lot of different teams, but I'll be honest, um, his zone isn't really that useful at this stage of the game, at least for me near the end game. I find that dedicated zones, either elemental or pure slash or pure magic, uh, a little bit more um, bad and beneficial. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.